Discrimination against LGBTQ2 communities was quickly codified in criminal offenses like buggery, gross indecency, and body house provisions. Bathhouses were raided, people were entrapped by police. Now that was Prime Minister Justin Trudeau last November apologizing for decades of harassment of LGBTQ Canadians. Now his government is aiming to atone for that discrimination. But the legislation they want to pass is facing criticism that it doesn't go far enough. Bill C-66 allows people to apply to have past criminal records expunged, but some senators on the Human Rights Committee point out a notable omission. Men swept up in those infamous body house raids in the 1980s are not eligible. The most famous of those took place in Toronto in 1981. Police cracked down on four gay bathhouses in the city, arresting more than 250 people. Those who owned or worked in the bathhouses were charged with keeping a body, common body house. Patrons were charged with being found in one. The arrests sparked citywide protests with about 3,000 people taking to the streets. Well, let's turn to our Sunday scrum now. Joining me today, once again, Susan Riley, John Ibbotson, and Charisma Mathen, all of them in Ottawa. So, Charisma, let's go straight to you. Uh, Ralph Goodale did provide an explanation to the committees. Here is part of that. Uh, we have focused on the, uh, the three uh, defunct provisions in the criminal code uh, that were the most discriminatory. Uh, and those, those provisions are, uh, are no longer in effect. With respect to uh, uh, other provisions, like the ones that you refer to in relation to, to body houses or other provisions, um, they are not inherently unconstitutional. Uh, they are still in effect uh, as of this date. Uh, so the process of dealing with them is a lot more complicated. Ralph Goodale choosing his words carefully, perhaps even more than usual. So, Charisma, <laughs> what's going on there? Well, uh, in one sense, I can understand the desire to keep this as simple as possible in that you focus on those provisions that, for whatever reason, are no longer in effect. They've, they were previously found unconstitutional, or they've just been excised, or they clearly don't keep up with, with, modern, with modern times. And, and so you can take a, a, a really neat position that anyone who was previously, previously convicted should have those records expunged. The problem is, of course, that one, the bathhouse provision was the source of tremendous discrimination and oppression against the gay and lesbian community for years. It was, in a way, almost the, one of the primary vehicles for that state oppression, and it was specifically referenced by the Prime Minister. So I, I don't know that you can have just a neat answer to, to this. I will say that in that committee hearing, uh, the Minister went on to say that they were looking seriously at how to do it. I find it a little interesting that they seem to still be, in a sense, committed to some version of the body house rule being on the books. I think we could have a good discussion as to the utility of that law. But in any event, uh, it's it's very hard, I think, to, to tell someone who who still has a conviction for for a raid that occurred, say, in the 70s, that their that f uh, fundamental injustice is not going to be repaired. And of course, those those raids and the subsequent protests seen as and probably quite rightly, Canada's stonewall, the awakening of the gay pride movement in this country. Susan? Yeah, I, I, I wonder if this is another situation where the government is making things more difficult for itself uh, than it needs to be by not fully explaining. I mean, is their rationale the fact that they still want to have some kind of body house legislation to go after, you know, straight, uh, you know, pr houses of prostitution, essentially, to go after pimps? Um, and people who are who are profiting off uh, a sexual s selling sex um, is that the the complication and if so explain it and maybe it's not but but otherwise it makes no sense whatsoever it just it just is unfathomable John yeah so C66 is the result of a series of articles in the globe that looked at specifically the case of Everett Clippert a man in the 1960s who was designated a dangerous sexual offender and sentenced to life in prison simply because he had sex with men. It was the Clippert case that led initially to the decriminalization of same-sex acts um, in 1969. And the Globe's position was um, the, there, were, there are still men alive who had been convicted of something that is now um, you know, not only legal, but we have same-sex marriage. 
and the convictions of those men should be expunged. That is what C-66 is about. Um, we also talked about people who've been discriminated against in the public service, fired from the military and, and, um, and elsewhere, simply because they were gay right up until the late eight, 1980s. And the good news there is uh, there's a, a class action lawsuit that is on the brink of being settled to give them proper compensation. So it's the case of the found-ins. And here's the issue. If the Senate sends the bill back and says you need to add in uh, the possibility that people who have were convicted in those raids can uh, can uh, apply for expungement on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, I'm ta I've talked to lawyers who said that would be perfectly uh, legal and legitimate, but it would send the bill back to the House, which already has a full slate, and the thing could die on the order paper before uh, the next election. I don't have a position on this myself. It, it, it's it's a quandary. I would love to see the found-ins um, added into the uh, into C-66, but I don't want to see the bill die uh, simply because uh, it's sent back by the Senate. Uh, it's, it's, it's a difficult one, I have to say. And my, uh, my read is that there is, in fact, a split within the community itself as to whether that price would be too high, as John says, and that perhaps what, you know, we, they, they accept the bill on its current terms, but then really put pressure on the government to have a plan to move forward to deal with these very historic and, and really uh, the, 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 most, um, the most visible, in, in a sense, uh, uh, instances of, of oppression against the LGBT community.